Hello guys, my name is Mogisha Emmanuel and I welcome you back to this YouTube channel Mogicraft. And in case you're new here, please consider subscribing so that you don't miss any amazing skill on this very channel. Well, today we are going to be looking at something totally different, totally different. So today we are going to be learning how to make string art. Hope you can see it with me here. And of course I will not be the one taking you through this. We have our special artist today who is going to be tell, telling us teaching us how to how to make the string art so without wasting time let's start so here we are guys we have our our artist here with us and uh, who will be introducing himself and he will Tell us what you'll be teaching us today. So we all come. Thank you very much for having me on this channel. Hello everyone. My name is Kafero Ezra Luanga. And uh, today we are going to learn a very simple DIY skill that I got to learn myself during the COVID lockdown. And uh, that will be string art, as you can see. Let me show you one of these pieces. You can make these pieces at home. So today I'll be showing you how you can make those pieces. And for starters, uh, these are the materials you're going to need. Okay. You'll need some nails. How many inches? Uh, that depends on the board you're using. Oh, right. But for me, the boards I'm using are a bit thick. So I'm using one inch nails. Oh wow, so yeah. guys, you need nails yeah. <laughs> first. <laughs> uh, you right. need a hammer. Okay. Um, mine looks a bit dangerous, but yeah. this one is good for work. <laughs> yeah, it's not very uh, You need thread, right. because the work we do after you nail your design onto the board, this is what you use to bring us that design. Wow. You need some thread. So different colors, right? Yes. Yeah, to make and the work look beautiful. Yes. <laughs> and then the board on which your work is going to go. Yeah. You will need this also. Um, these boards are of different types depending on what you the artist what you want or what your customer wants. Yes. Um, so after we've got all the material that we need to do the the art piece, we are going to start by getting our board right here and preferably to make the design nice some people prefer to have painted boards as you can see we have a red one here we have a black one here we have a white one here so you can paint the board to, so that the end result comes out looking nice now after the board has been painted and it has dried we go to the next process of putting the design that you want onto the board so there are two ways of doing this. One, you can draw, if you're good at hand sketching, you can draw the design you want and put it on the paper, okay. uh, on the board and stick some tape on the sides so that when you come back to nail, you will be nailing along the design that you want. Following the lines. Yes. Okay. However, if you want it to be easier for you and you have access to a computer you can just print out the designs the designs that already even have the dots for you where you're going to put the nail yes so when you print out you'll find that it has dots that give you the spacing for the nails and that spacing since it comes from a computer it's accurate it's better than using freehand yeah so even when you sketch it on paper, you so you yes. Even after I've sketched it on paper like this one, mm. I have to put the dots where I'm going okay. to put my nails. So they have to be well spaced. Like yes. The same measurements. Yes. They have to be the same. The space between the dots has to be the same, the same. to make yeah. it a uniform design and 
make it look accurate okay. in the end. Yes, oh, that's nice. Yeah. yeah. So what we are going to do now is we are going to stick. I have a board I painted. Yeah. We are going to stick our design onto the board and start the nailing start the process. Nailing process. Okay. Yes. yes. Uh, as I told you earlier on, I had a board that I had painted, and this is what it looks like after we painted it. Very neat black finish. And this is a board that we are going to, on which we are going to do our design. So the next step is putting the stencil onto the board okay. so that we can map out or plot where the nails are going to be. So, since the board is a bit big, I took the liberty of joining two papers. <laughs> yeah. yeah, so then, and then you cover where you want your design to be. And then make sure that is fastened. You stick it with some cello tape. Can, can I help you? Yes, yes, please. So you get some salt tape, take it around. Up to up? No. Just there. I don't have a big size printer. Yeah. If I had a big size printer, I would have been able to just print out my stencil work and All stick right. the stencil up there oh. onto the board. Yeah. But for now, because my board is a bit big, the size of the paper is small, that's why I'm doing it like this. And I'm going to draw. I'm going to sketch my okay. design onto the canvas. canvas. So after I'm done sketching, mm. that's when we're going to put the nails and I'm going to close the nails. Okay. Wow, yes. I can't wait for that. <laughs> oh, this is so amazing actually. Yes, um, as you can see, I'm done with the sketch. Uh, our anchor has come out. I wasn't able to print it out. I've used my hand to sketch the anchor. Now, what I'm doing after finishing the sketch, I'm dotting where I'm going to be putting my nails. And these gaps have to be uniform so that when you see the design at the end, it will be uniform and perfect yes so this these dots are a little less they are maybe a centimeter each every gap between the dot is a centimeter yes and these gaps i put them according to the size of nails i'm using now today i'm using one inch nails so for one inch nails one centimeter gap will be enough Welcome back. As you can see, 
I'm done with the sketch, oh. and I've already put in the dots okay. that uh, I'm marking or plotting where we are going to nail. Wow. So the next process is we are going to put in the nails. The nails. And the nails have to be put in while the design is still on the board. So that after you're done nailing through all the dots, okay. you can just remove the paper the that paper. helped you do the design. All right. So before putting the threads, first remove the paper. Yes. All right. Oh, yes. That's interesting. So unfortunately, I can't come up from yeah. here. Uh, what we are going to do, we are going to get a safer ground. <laughs> go to a harder ground. Yeah. So I can show you. But these are the right. nails I'll be using. Okay. As you can see. So you said it's one inch? Yes. One okay. Inch nails. Yes. These are the nails oh. I'll be using. Interesting. Yes. So let's go out. I try to nail that as fast as possible. All right. Then we go to the next so step. Which guys, is... follow us as we're going to get harder ground where to nail our board. For those when you're nailing, if you're right-handed like me, it is better to start nailing from the right going to the left. Then if you're left-handed, it's better to start nailing from the left to the right. Because for a right-handed person, when you start from the right going to the left, you will have space for your, for your next nail. Let me show you an example. For example, we have a nail here. Now because you started with the, with the right side, you have enough space to put for your finger to fit, for your hands to fit, and then for you to fit the second nail. Now we can put the third nail. And as you can see, our whole hand has space because we started from this side. However, if we were to start from this side, we wouldn't have space to put the second nail Yeah. So, let me do it quick and then we go to the next step. Yes. So guys, as you can see, we have already put nails on our art piece. Hope you can see it here. Yes. So, what's the next step? The next step, we are going to remove our stencil. All right. That helped us to put the nails on the board. Wow. Okay. And this is going to give way mm -hmm. for us to have only the nails on okay. the, board, the board, so that we can start doing putting our threads. Our threads. Okay. Yes. So we have two colors of the threads here. Yeah, All right. So first, let's take okay. off the stencil. It's work for now, it's done. Yeah. Let's <laughs> cut it. Be careful. Eh? I think the nails have to be so firm. Yeah, the can't. nails have to be really firm. Yeah. Hey, boy, that is interesting. <laughs> you create them this fruit. So I can throw this out. Yeah. Put them aside. Wow, this is so I wanted to ask any like question. Like when you're sketching, mm. you can't sketch directly on the board. Then directly and then well, nail it up. It's also possible 
to sketch directly on your board. If your board is still without paint, yeah. you can sketch on the board. Okay. Then put in the nails. the nails. And after that, you can paint afterwards. Okay. Okay. So that's another method of yes. doing it. If you don't want to use the paper. That's yes. interesting. Yeah. Okay. So, so these can stay. These we have to remove. Um, okay. Stubborn, but <laughs> you have to take them out. So make sure you remain with the, the clean, a clean surface, a clean canvas. <laughs> All right, we don't need a nail. Yeah. <laughs> so you have to be careful with the nails. Eh? Mm, you know, they, they pinch. They, for those who have soft hands, so <laughs> <laughs> mostly girls, I think, women. So for us men, we are kind of that. <laughs> Farmers. Farmers. <laughs> they have strong hands. <laughs> mm. Oh, this is very different from beadwork. <laughs> you know, with beadwork, you just come with your Starting string up. Yeah. Just bring yeah. your string up and bring the bits, bits together it's totally different and everything works it looks beautiful it looks beautiful so how long have you been doing this? a few months oh, a few months? yes but even here? As, as I said in, in the beginning earlier on okay. I taught myself taught yourself just in those few months yes uh, that that period of covid covid oh. lockdown wow you know in, in uganda a lockdown extended mm, that's right compared to other countries so mm. that period most of us think in, lo what to do. in lockdown we really learned a lot yeah <laughs> so when it comes to creativity yeah, you have to use that. your time wise yeah Yeah, you are. You becoming a legend. <laughs> <laughs> I wouldn't say legend, but yeah, it's at least a very simple skill that everyone yeah. who has um, some little free time can do. So even kids can try this, or oh, it's yes. only for grown-ups. Even kids can try Absolutely. with guidance. Yeah, with guidance. Of course. With guidance, yeah. kids can try this and enjoy. So parents who are there, you can enjoy this with your kid at home and enjoy the process and all that, the nailing part, the putting well, the thread part. Well, the nailing part. part could be mm. done by the parents. The parents, mm. yeah. You don't want kids playing around. So, it's done? Yes, so we've taken out all the paper okay. remaining from the stencil. Yeah, so and now we are going to start the threading. threading. So we have to color there. Yes, and um, one is used to contrast the other. Yeah, that So okay. what we are going to do, we are going to have the darker tone of green okay. to cover the inside. inside. And then we'll go ahead and outline with the lighter. With the lighter. With the lighter green. Right. So is there another type of thread you can use? What from this? Yes, um, um, the style of string art and green and maybe the materials are yeah. using uh, why I'm using this type of thread is acrylic. However, there is string art where they use pins that are much smaller than this. Oh, yeah. And so they require much thinner thread. Right. And so those people use fishing line okay. if you're using the smaller pins. Okay. Yes, so. but because we are using the bigger nails, mm. we're going to use bigger thread. Oh, that's, yes. that's interesting. I think we see. And it depends on on uh, on the person, the artist. The artist, and what yeah, you yeah. What you now, prefer. me, I prefer this because it's easier. Exactly. Yeah. To me, it's easier. Someone else might find it hard. Hard. Yeah. <laughs> so if so. you find it hard, you better repeat <laughs> this video over and over so that you learn. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. All right. So. Going to be a process. So, um, yeah. Our art piece is going to be a 3D art piece. Okay. So that means even the sides are going to have some thread on them. So okay. since we are having the lighter green for an outline, it's what we are going to start with. 
at the bottom so that it can give us the outline, outline. at the bottom. Okay. After the outline at the bottom, we shall fill in with the dark with green. The dark and then in the end, we shall close it up with the light the green. lighter green. All right. Yes. Wow. Yes. So, in, guys. Let's start. All right. So what you're going to do, you're going to let out uh, a fairly good distance a little bit further. Then you go. You can choose any starting point on your whole art piece. I prefer starting with uh, vertices. Let me say, but I I could choose this one. I could choose this one because it, it gives me a, a, a very clear starting point that I won't forget. Yeah, yeah. So you're going to make one knot, then you make a second one. And make sure it's really tight. Yeah. And then we are going to get our super glue. Yeah. You make a very tight knot at the bottom, then you get the super glue and place it where the knot is. At the knot exactly. Just a very small drop. And what that will do, it will help fasten your start your starting point so that it doesn't move at all. Yes. After you're done, you can get your scissors and clip off the extra length. Then from there, we are going to start our outline. Now, to outline this, uh, for the curves, mm. if the nails are curving outward yeah. like this, what you do, you put the thread inside so that the okay. thread follows oh, the curve. Okay. Now, when you reach midway and there's a transition in the curve, yeah. you change. Okay. You see how it is? Oh. So that you keep it, you keep it within the curve. Now, when you reach the corner, you change right before the corner. Okay. And then that nail will give you the corner, it will wow. give you the outline. Wow. Then, because there's a slight curve here, mm. you'll bring it inside. Wow. Then, as you reach the vertex, the vertex you take it outside. outside. Are you seeing that the shapes are coming wow. out? Wow, that's interesting. Yeah. So, but. Okay. All, all this while, um, take note that I'm pulling with a lot of tension, tension yeah. so that our, our whatever we've done has yeah, not been yeah. 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 So, here we are going to go on the inside, like we said, then as we reach the corner, we go to the outside. outside yeah. Make sure these are, this is at the bottom, because this is going to be a 3D piece. Go around the vertex. Now wow. this is an inside curve, so the thread will have to go on the inside. Inside, yeah. As you reach the vertex, you go on the outside. Then come back on the inside. Since you're going to curve going upwards, yeah, yeah. yeah. Oh, then you follow through. Since this is a straight line, it's okay. Yeah, you can actually put it outside. But when you reach here, put it back inside since you're making a turn. turn yeah. Then go back outside yeah. like that. Okay. This is interesting. <laughs> wow. And it's kind of playful because mm. kids will, will enjoy it. And this. with time, <laughs> you start to realize that you have your own pattern yeah. going yeah. around. Yeah, with, with experience, once you get used, yeah, it becomes easy for you. Yes, now that we are done with our bottom bottom layer of the border, now we are going to introduce our dark green, which will act as the fill up for this space and the middle layer so that the 3D product looks nice. Now we'll go through the same process. I've already made the knot. Uh, then I apply some little super glue. Okay. Um, 
then cut off the tip. That excess. And then we can start. Now what we are going to start, we are going to start with the outline. The same way we, we started with the bottom. Yeah. And then after that we shall start filling in. So start with your outline. Yeah. And remember guys we started from a different angle. This time we started yeah, from, yes. from a different yeah. angle, not yeah. yeah. taking a different starting yeah. point. Okay, so now we are done with outlining the border okay. with our dark green. Now we are going to fill up the space. Yes, and filling up the space is there's no specific way of, of filling up the space. It's yeah. not a must. Yeah. It can be zigzag patterns. It can be straight patterns. Yeah. So as long as in the end you you turn up with something okay. uniform. Okay. Yes. Yeah. So let me start by doing some zigzag, some random lines, but okay. so it takes randomly. Yeah, okay. with time, out of mm. experience, mm. these zigzags uh, become part of life. Part, part. <laughs> yeah. yeah, part of your your journey. Wow. Yeah, it, it's it's not a strict that you're supposed to pass the thread mm. here. You're supposed to pass it here. Yeah. No. Yeah. As long as the thread is just passed through mm -hmm. enough, it's a, you can go with that here. Yeah. So now we are done with filling up the space that we had. Oh, it's so hard. Yes. As, wow. as you can see, it's right. very rigid right now. Yeah. Yeah. So now the last step is to make an outline. Right. So that it makes our art piece vibrant. Like the down one? Yes. Right. Like this. Very similar to the one down. Oh. So first we are going to stop this thread from here. Okay. We can put some glue. Some glue right here. That's enough. That's enough. Okay. So you just put a drop? Yeah, a drop is enough. Oh so yeah. And then you cut the end. So now we go back to our starting color. I don't know how they call this green, neon green or light green. <laughs> Alright, so we're going to be putting it upward. Yes. Now, I think we shall start from the beginning where we started. Yeah, so at the bottom of the side? Yeah, so you make a knot and then come and put it here. Okay, so can you play glue? Yes. Oh. Apply I think I'm, I'm becoming a fast learner. <laughs> yeah, fast learner. Yeah, so now you can put some glue here. Right. Just on the knot. Now the outline, this is how it's done. Take a head one time, you go around the nail, you come back to the original nail. Wow. Then you go back to the nail, go around once, go to the next one, come back. Like that. On to the next one, like that.
the same. Yes. Go back. Go ahead. So now we are coming to the end of a wow. adventure. This was yeah. <laughs> a small adventure. That's interesting, actually. But as you can see, now I'm making the last knot. Yes. Now you can bring that glue. So just place it here. Yeah, yeah, yeah. The plastic breaks easily. So, so how do you say? It? Is it done? There we have our piece. As you can see, it's an anchor. Not some so if you want, you can again repaint the background, yeah. the board, and to make it. It doesn't black. have to be black. It can oh, yeah. be other other colors. So you can design it in, in your in your own. In your own. And yeah. the ad. Have the same piece but mm. keep changing, keep changing the colors of the thread. Wow, that's yes. amazing. So, Whoa, yeah. can I have it? I guess you, you try it out, someone else would wish to try it out. Uh, to finish now, this size, this piece can take you. Maybe four, three to four hours. Three to four hours. Yes, so and you're done with this piece. So you need to be patient. Yeah, you need some patience. For around three to four hours. Yes. Oh, wow. So that's. But uh, it all comes down to experience and time. Wow. So with the more time you put in, the easier it becomes for you. So the faster you become. Uh, okay. All right. Anyway, thank you so much for for teaching us today, and I'm sure oh, everyone, yeah, everyone has learned a lot today. Yes. And guys, in case you'd want to know anything concerning the thread art or the string art, yes, you can let us know in your comments. Please comment below so that we can know what you would want to learn from it. And in case you, in case someone wants to to follow you, um, yeah. you have any social media pages? Yes, I have my instagram page yeah. you can follow me it's threads by easy yeah, threads by easy yes you can look for it on instagram you will find all my work there yeah so even twitter no not yet so instagram threads by easy so you can follow him up and see more of his amazing works guys yes and for movie craft you can follow us on Twitter, Instagram, Mogi Crafts, and remember, don't forget to subscribe and like and share this video. So, till next time, guys. Ciao, ciao.